Vought's next Navy design, the F-7U Cutlass, was far more radical and far more successful. It re-established the company's good reputation with the Navy. In a period of innovation and experimentation, this was the most advanced and adventurous design to go into production. With two engines, no tail, and twin rudders set midway out on the wings, it was a single-seat fighter unlike anything in service. The wing was stubby and swept back at 38 degrees, and the plane resembles today's F-14 more than it did its contemporaries. The design of the Cutlass had started in 1945, and prototypes flew in 1948. Like many planes of its time, it was ordered in small numbers and did not stay in service long. It suffered high attrition from accidents and engine failures. The elongated nose strut, which allowed a higher angle of attack during landing, also limited pilot visibility. The design, though a success, had other disadvantages that cut development short. 